So listen, it's me, your little boy, Hike Samson. Listen, I have something special for us today. Listen, many people never believe that that disappointment will turn into what breakthrough. <laughs> ah, let me just read. <laughs> many people never believe that 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 word, that rejection will end up become what remarkable in your life. <laughs> That's how many of them are like, ah, this our friend. Eh? We don't know how 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 this betrayed everything we have tried. We have come all the, all everything that we have done. We betrayed him. We do all sorts of things, but yet it's not going the way it is. <laughs> oh my God! Listen to me, brothers. There are many people who are wondering how you keep excelling, how you keep succeeding, how you keep making it despite of their hating. <laughs> that, that is why, you know, there's something that I love what I love about Anna. <laughs> Anna was crying in the church. She was like, I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Everything about me, I'm done. I, I, there is no hope. Uh, it is better God take me like this. <laughs> I'm done. I'm frustrated. Uh, uh, you know, Anna was just full of what tears. And immediately, a man just walked, a man of God just walked. He said to her, oh, why do you drink this early morning? No. He said, no. She said, no, no. I, I, I did not take anything. I'm a woman full of what? Tears, full of sorrow, full, full, of, full of agony. Everything about me, I'm tired of life. I'm frustrated. I have been asking God. He said, as you, <laughs> your faith, all you have been thinking, all that you have been hoping is being given. And that's how Anna was like, oh, this is how God works. <laughs> this is how God just works. He said, okay, let me go. The Bible said at the end, he give a, 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 a man that even the whole world can't forget him in a call somewhere. <laughs> God, oh. no, so listen to me, brothers. There are a lot of people who, you, this, you know, sometimes when God, it, it, there's something that my mom tell me one day, you know, when I was a kid. So I do used to carry uh, umbrella to school. If I carry umbrella to school, I don't bring it back. <laughs> Anything I carry go home, it is very, very hard for me to return them. Unless, eventually, maybe my mom come to carry me. He will just ask my sister, my, my sister, hey, where is something umbrella? Or where is something with a bag? I know those stuff, you know. Maybe mostly if they buy new clothes for me. <laughs> I don't carry my bag go, my bag go home now. I forget my, sometimes I will leave it on top of my, what, my desk. And go and go and look. as long as I have this in my pocket or I have head of fish in my pocket, no, nothing goes inside me or side bag again. Sometimes my mom will touch them and say, Samson, <laughs> and one day you will realize the importance of this umbrella. <laughs> Why? Because there was a day that I come back home, all my body was so wet, it, it rained heavily. And my sister, you know, my sister moved before me and I was not able to, you know, to go. And the thing, the thing <laughs> wet me. When I reached home, I was just, I was just like doing like this. You know, my body was shaking. My mommy said, you see the thing I, I do used to tell you that a day will come where you will realize the value of what you have. <laughs> Listen, don't, don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Let me tell you the fact truth. There are a lot of people up there <laughs> who are automatically shocked who are automatically frustrated, who don't believe that a day will come where they will start to look up to you. Yes, many of them concluded you. <laughs> Do not conclude with my present situation. <laughs> Jehovah is working on me. <laughs> I may be poor today. Jehovah is still working on me. I may be nobody today. But believe me, Jehovah is really working on us. <laughs> I may be nobody to you today. But believe me, Jehovah is working on us. <laughs> yes, believe me, brothers. There are many people who have said all sorts of words concerning you. There are a lot of people who have concluded you, who have said a lot concerning your joining. Who have made sure, who have did all sorts of things. To make sure they stop you. But what shocked them is that God provide all. 
God refused to disappoint you the way they disappointed you. Yes, that is why you need to understand. There is a lot of people who are smiling when things are tough around you. Not that they are telling you, they are, they are, they are consulting, they are telling you, ah, take heart, take heart. That does not mean they are happy with you. There are a lot of people out there who are always happy when things are tough or hard around you. It gives them joy. It gives them happiness. But believe me right now, many of them are frustrated because God refused to disappoint you the way they disappointed what they disappointed you. God refused to let you go the way they let you go. The God refused to let you go down the way they thought you would go down. Listen to me. That is why Elisha said to them, Elisha said to them, if I be a man of God, let fire fall down. Many people never believe that you carry what they need. A lot of people never believe that in your life, you will be the first that God is going to use to break some record. There are a lot of your brothers, your sisters, who never believe that through you, liberation, through you, miracle, through you, divine help, through you, greatness, to we do what will happen. There are many people up there who never believe this. But it shocked them how suddenly God do what no man refuse to do. Remember blessed.